Hello and welcome to another reading from the book In Heavenly Places, a daily devotional. Today's reading is entitled Trust in Time of Trial, April 23rd. Cast thy burden upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. Psalm 55 verse 22 The Lord's care is over all his creatures. He loves them all and makes no difference except that he has the most tender pity for those who are called to bear life's heaviest burdens. God's children must meet trials and difficulties, but they should accept their lot with a cheerful spirit, remembering that for all that the world neglects to bestow, God himself will make up to them in the best of favors. We are in danger by worrying of manufacturing yokes for our necks. Let us not worry, for thus we make the yoke more severe and the burden heavy. Let us do all we can without worrying, trusting in Christ. With the continual change of circumstances, changes come in our experience. And by these changes, we are either elated or depressed. But the change of circumstances has no power to change God's relation to us. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And he asks us to have unquestioning confidence in his love. Satan watches his opportunity to bring about circumstances that will tend to arouse unbelief, hoping to lead us to doubt God. We cannot afford to cherish one thought of unbelief. When we are tempted to look on the dark side, let us open the windows of the soul heavenward that the bright beams of the sun of righteousness may shine in let us draw near to god he has promised that as we do this he will draw near to us and lift up for us a standard against the enemy the efficiency of his keeping power has in no wise decreased. Let faith stand in its trial without wavering, for Christ is a perfect Savior. You may look upon your plans as perfect, but God may see that it is essential for you to suffer disappointment in order that your plans may be brought into harmony with his plan. His way is always the right way. He seeth and knoweth all things. We do not always see as he sees. Take your stand on the word of God. Whatever may occur, hold fast the beginning of your confidence firm unto the end. Thank you for listening today. Please be sure to join me tomorrow for another reading from the book In Heavenly Places. God bless you.